I'd like to make an important note. I did my best to make the audio volumes the same in both mics, but I didn't make any other adjustments to the audio. I used Final Cut Pro 10, and I used its built-in compressor effect to adjust the gain. I did no other processing on this video or audio. I copied the same video clip and used the 875R original audio in one copy and used the zoom audio on the other copy after removing that original audio. Your blood pressure goes down. Uh, they also swab the inside of your cheek for the hormone cortisol, which is a stress indicator, and they're seeing that after the forest bathing walk, stress levels are down. They've also done some intensive research on a kind of organic compound that the trees emit and what happens to us human beings when we're in and amongst and taking in the atmosphere of the forest. And what they found is that these phytoncides, which translates to plant killer, um, is, is something that the trees themselves use to ward off viruses and diseases and insects. Well, when human be beings are breathing in uh, these phytoncides, it affects our immune system. And it goes specifically to the white blood cells called natural killer cells, or NK cells. Your blood pressure goes down. Uh, they also swab the inside of your cheek for the hormone cortisol, which is a stress indicator, and they're seeing that after the forest bathing walk, stress levels are down. They've also done some intensive research on a kind of organic compound that the trees emit and what happens to us human beings when we're in and amongst and taking in the atmosphere of the forest. And what they found is that these phytoncides, which translates to plant killer, um, is, is something that the trees themselves use to ward off viruses and diseases and insects. Well, when human be beings are breathing in uh, these phytoncides, it affects our immune system. And it goes specifically to the white blood cells called natural killer cells, or NK cells. If you have a nearly soundproof studio for recording, you may be able to use an on-camera mic for your work, but I still would recommend close micing your talent. In a studio, you can use mics on booms that don't show in the frame, or you can use lavalier mics. For interviews, Viewers are accustomed to seeing labs on the talent, so hiding a microphone on the lapel or shirt collar isn't required. If you're not in a studio, but doing interviews in offices or other spaces with hardwood floors, walls, ceilings, then on-camera mics are going to pick up reverberations in whatever ambient sounds there are in your location. As you've heard, close miking the talent can dramatically lower the intrusions of unwanted audio. I don't recommend gear. What works for me will not work for you. I picked the 875R to meet my needs in field recording, and it's not going to be the best for you. Same with the Zoom F1. I'm comfortable with it for my uses as a field recorder, but it's not necessarily the best for you. The purpose of this video is not to recommend microphones, but to demonstrate the advantages of close micing your talent for better audio. So figure out what works best for you, make mistakes, and have fun. The purpose of this video is not to recommend microphones, but to demonstrate the advantages of close micing your talent for better audio.